So supplemental coding one video, I wanted to talk about finding objects in our scene. Uh, if I'm building a, a game that's based on this countdown timer, you can see the five and the three and the two and the one, but you can also see a lot of other debug statements happening in my level. And if I wanted to get rid of those, I would need to find them in the level and then delete them. So one way of doing that is clicking on the output log in the bottom left-hand side. Uh, we can see spawning a cube, 998, spawning a cube, true. And it also tells us which objects we're looking at. So this is week 4B. Uh, this is BP cube spawner. This is BP restart timer. And so if I want to get rid of this cube spawner, I can search in the outliner, cube spawner. And then I could just delete it from my, my view. So I hit play. I still get the false. I get the trues, but I don't get spawning a cube. So let's look at the false and trues. We look at the output log. Here's the true. Week 4B is the name. There's that object, which I can delete. And then when I hit play, all I get is that countdown timer, exactly like what I want. Um, another thing that can happen is sometimes you saved your script in a weird spot. Uh, I think one of the things that I did early on is I put some of the, yeah, the cube blueprint is in the first person blueprints folder. Uh, and if I were looking for that, but I didn't know what the name was, I could do a filter for blueprints. And if I select my content folder, it's going to give me every blueprint in my scene until I could find this cube blueprint. And then maybe I could move it to the folder that I actually want. Another thing we can do, say we've been building a lot of levels, we can filter for levels. I'm just right clicking in here. You can also click here. Uh, I also like to filter for static meshes. I also like to filter for materials. So if you want to find all the materials in your scene, uh, in your project, you can just filter by materials, make sure you have your content folder selected, and just search for materials or just static meshes. I just want to look for those. Now I can bring in this super cool bench from the starter content. I can bring in this cool bush over here. So filters are really useful. I just kind of have them sitting over here in the sidebar of my uh, content drawer. 